In today's video, I'm gonna show you full optimization guide for the laptop, how you can boost your FPS and your performance in Fortnite Chapter 4 on your any low-end laptop or PC. So guys, make sure to watch my this whole video and if this is your first time here, so please subscribe my channel, turn on the bell notification, drop a like on this video and without wasting any time, let's get started. So guys, in the first step, you have to download this tool on your PC. These are the essential and very important tool for the optimization of your laptop. So therefore, you need to download it. So link available down in the description. Open up the link from description. That will take you here onto my this website and now you need to find out this post. So you need to go for the Windows search bar and search MSI press enter from your keyboard it will take you here here you will find out download msi utility tool for free these are the latest versions so make sure to download the same exact version click on this download button simply follow this stuff click on this download button and download this file on your pc once you download now you need to again go on the search bar and this time search here click to boost once you search click to boost so there you will find out this article like one click to boost software github you need to open up this article scroll all the way down click on this download button it will take you on the official website go for the score section and click on this download button and download the zip file of the one click to push optimizer once you're done now you need to again go on the website and here is our last program you need to download power control on your pc and in my old previous video i show you about the software and this is one of the best software if you have a laptop and you need a powerful power plan so you need to search power control Go for this article, scroll all the way down, click on this download button and simply click on this download button and download this tool on your PC. Once you download all these tools on your PC, now you need to follow exactly every step. So in the first step, you need to create a powerful power plan on your PC. So therefore, you need to install power control. Double tap here, click yes, click OK, click I agree, click next, install and install the software on your PC. Once you install it, so here you will find out this kind of the interface. So you need to go for the CPU settings for the power profile, drop down, go for the pitch some high performance. Then here into this tab, select on the performance because if we need more performance, more the power saving. So therefore, go with the performance scores, disable all of the settings, set all the slider onto the 100%, make activate, hit apply, and go for the bit sum dynamic boost enable. Check mark here on this box, go for the drop down and select out bit sum highest performance, then click OK, and also check mark on this both option. Once you click on this both option, now you need to click on the OK button or simply go into the power option and make sure bit sum high performance is select on your laptop if you not find it here so go with the high performance it will also better but if you have the bit sum high performance so go with the bit sum highest performance power plan now close out this window and close out this application this will always keep running in your background whenever you turn on your laptop so now let's go for our next step and in this step we are going to optimize our gpu of our uh, laptop so therefore you need to go for the msi utility drop it here on your desktop and you need to run this application as the administrator click yes you will find out this kind of list and now you need to go for your gpu model here is my nvidia geforce rtx 3070 you need to go for the msi column and click on to the uh, this box check mark on this box then go for the interrupt purity and set it on to the high then hit apply and close out the msi mod utility tool now let's go for our final and the last step of this tool so here we got our windows 10 deep loader and you need to open up the zip file drag this folder on your desktop you can use the winrar or the 7zip open up this folder and here you will find out this kind of windows 10 deep load gui.ps1 so you need to right click and run this as powershell and it will show you this kind of interface and here you will find out this kind of interface of the windows deep load so once you find out this interface you need to go for the customize uh, block list you need to click on this button and here you will find out all the list now you need to select out those program or those services of your windows which you are not using like the xbox one and the news the spotify facebook twitter that kind of services and once you select all that files click on the save custom allow list and the block list and then you need to go for the remove bloatware with the custom block list you can also go with the default settings it's fine it will remove just unessential unimportant application or services of your windows so click onto the remove bloatware with custom block list once you do it so here it will uh, remove all this program you can check it out here windows microsoft get started messages then here we got our dvu microsoft g hub microsoft solidate collection game 
Then here is the Microsoft Network Speed, Printer 3D. These are all the unused services. And once you do the thing, it is completely safe. Now here we go over Cortana. Make sure to disable it. Then go for the Edge. Disable the PDF of the Edge. And here is the uh, dark theme. It is again your personal preference. You can go with the dark or the light mode. Then here we got other changes fixes. So you need to go for the uninstall the OneDrive if you are not using on your Windows. And it's important for improving your performance. Then here we got over disable telemetry slash task. You need to install this both option. And once you're done, now you need to simply close out this application. And now let's go for our next Windows settings. So for the Windows optimization or your graphics, you need to right click on your desktop, go for the display settings, go straight into the graphic settings and make sure to turn on hardware accelerated GPU schedule. Once you turn it on, now you need to go for this browse option and add here Fortnite into this list. Simply go into PC, C drive, program file, Epic game, Fortnite, Fortnite games folder, binary print 34 and here you will find out exe file of your Fortnite. You need to add this file make sure the size is bigger than other three files click on this add button go for the option set it on the higher performance of your gpu hit apply and close out the window settings so these are settings guys you need to follow on your laptop and here is the performance gameplay after applying all the settings on your laptop you will get so guys i hope so you love it so please make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification and to let the next video peace out Oh! Come on, come on! Hey, Allah, come on! He's coming from the middle of the road. 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 Now what? Okay. Reboot water, water, then. Yeah, one HP. Nice. Nice. One HP, one HP. They got by you. Then I'm going to back to the wild for my Depends what. मार दिया। एट एट नॉट चार्ट है मैं किन्नी मिलूंगा, किन्नी मिलूंगा इधर। किन्नी जमीन है।